kids are missing. And I don't know what to do. What did you do with my kids? Were you home the night you went missing? Have you seen this before? You're talking to me about a 20-year-old murder? What if they're connected? Oh, this is good. Yeah. Anna Papin plays a small town detective whose missing person case turns into a 20 year old murder mystery in the new WGN America drama, Bellevue. Welcome, Anna. Hi, good Anna. to have you here. Great having you. You play Detective Annie Ryder, and you're solving this murder case, but it seems like there may well, be a new crime. Involved. Yeah, so a, a young transgender athlete in the town goes missing. And it happens to be on the anniversary of the death of my character's father, who was the police chief 20 years earlier when this teenager was found murdered and they never solved the case and that basically sort of drove him to his death. And so this disappearance is happening in the present day and all of a sudden these sort of things and creepy things from her past mm -hmm. about this other case that was never solved start coming up at the same time, which makes her think that there is possibly some kind of connection because the killer was never found. Mm. So whoever has this kid, you know, right. it sort of jacks up the sense of urgency for... Oh. And, and you're sort of finding out. yourself as yeah. well. What, what's Annie all about? Well, Annie is someone who lost a parent at a really young age to suicide. And ha I think it's been suitably traumatized by that. And her mother then dies when she's relatively young. And she's had a pretty reckless, pretty mm. intense relationship right. with with mortality and her own life what? and has but it's also made her a really good cop um yeah. because she's willing to take risks that a lot of other people oh aren't. she'll take some risks oh yeah i saw that <laughs> i don't want to give anything away but the do you first like episode playing a great. cop i, I mean do it like seems like you've been playing cops uh, quite I, a bit I, I did it twice this year i'd never done it before which is funny because usually every single actor you get in a room and they're like yeah 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 we've already done the the cop thing like a hundred times right. i've never done it so like was like i don't know how to hold a gun i don't know how you're supposed to do any of this stuff i love cop dramas and I've watched probably all of them, right. but this was the first time. And then I played one on Electric Dreams as well, but she was like a futuristic badass cop, so it was like different That's roles. a new show that's yeah. on Amazon, yeah. which looks so intense and amazing. Wait, what's yeah. that one about now? Electric Dreams, Well, it's right? a, it's a Philip K. K. Dick anthology um, series called Electric Dreams, which is streaming on Amazon at the moment, and I'm in one of the episodes. It's so are we only playing strong female characters? Well, Both I kind of women. generally yes. try to yeah. play right? strong female characters. Um, because I don't find weak characters particularly interesting. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, these, these are two actual you know, law enforcement agents or officers, whatever you want to call it. So um, yes, I guess that ups their, uh, their kick buttonness. Yeah. What about film? Have you, have you gone back? Are you thinking about film at all? It seems like you've well, done the TV thing for a while now I mean, with True I've, Blood. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I shot a film that I produced, my husband directed, that I was also in earlier this year that's called The Parting Glass. I shot a movie in Scotland over the summer called Tell It to the Bees, and I'm currently in the middle of shooting the Martin Scorsese film, The Irishman. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Oh, okay, just those things. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. Yeah. Yeah. How's it being directed by your husband? And is that at home, are you like, now I'm in charge, okay? This is what we're doing tonight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm in charge regardless. <laughs> but, um, yes, that's in the fine print. Um, but he directed quite a lot of True Blood, so that's actually a dynamic I'm, we are very comfortable. comfortable with and is very easy for us. When I love that you came from X-Men also, but mm -hmm. now your husband's in sort of the spin-off TV he, show. Yeah, yeah he's, he's married into the Marvel <laughs> yeah. universe, and then he's been inducted properly. So. Have you given him pointers on, you know, being well, a I mean, superhero? You know, there might have been a few of those in the franchise he hadn't seen, so we did some, some watching. Yeah. And do fans still want to talk True Blood with you, especially when they see you all together? Oh, yeah. And what do they want to know? What do they say? I mean, you know, it, look, it's, it's always really flattering when you've done any kind of creative work that has impacted people that, so much that years and years later, they're still talking about it. Um, and if two characters from my favorite show walked into, like, the restaurant or shop I worked in, I'd probably be pretty excited. Um, so, you know, it's, um, it's, it's very sweet and really flattering. Um, people often ask me if he calls me Sookie in his character voice. And I'm like, no, because <laughs> that would be weird and creepy. Because that's creepy. <laughs> and no, that never happened. Or not even once. I'm like, no. Yeah. Never. Wait, we were talking yeah. about show reboots. So what show yeah, would you like to bring back? Who would you like to see walk in blood, to ask? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting. I mean, I could use another seven seasons of The West Wing. Oh, yes. Me too. CJ Craig. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, Danny's well on right a run now. right now. She's yeah. been on a run for a while. Yeah, she is, for um, sure. I had the absolute pleasure of working her for, with her for a couple of days on 
this film Margaret I did years and years ago, she plays the victim that dies in the bus crash at the beginning of that Kenneth Lonergan wow. film I did. And she was in the middle of shooting West Wing and kind of basically blew herself out and then froze to death literally on a pavement in New York for like four or five days dying from a, you know, head wound wow. on my lap. I was already a big fan, but like she's... Now you're like, you hear this from every actor about Allison. I mean, Kate Absolutely. Winslet was calling her out. There's something about Allison Janney. And oh, yeah. And also just stunning and talented and perfect and... Yeah. And so funny. We love yeah. that she yeah. just you know, she right. brings right. it. Well, Anna Paffin, so great catching up with you. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you so much everything. everything. Yes. New episodes of Bellevue air at 10 on Tuesdays, but Encore episodes are going to be running all weekend, all on WGN America.